Saul Marquez with the Outcomes Rocket. Today I have the privilege of having Bobby Reddy here in front of me at the MedTech Innovator Conference. So such a privilege to have you here, Bobby. Why don't you uh, give us an introduction uh, as a CEO of, of Prenosis. Tell us a little bit about yourself and what you guys are doing over there. Yeah, so, uh, so we're focused on sepsis, which is basically when infections get out of control. So we have a product called Immunix ED which uh, helps to figure out which patients need antibiotics fastest in emergency departments. Um, because if they don't get the antibiotics, then they tend to deteriorate very fast. And uh, a lot of these patients, it's not always clear that they need attention because they don't scream for help like a cardiac arrest patient or a stroke patient. So many of them get missed. And so what we have is a clinical decision support software that helps identify the patients that need attention as quickly as possible to make sure they don't deteriorate. That's fascinating. So tell us a little bit about your clinical decision support software, what, what makes it different th from other apps that are out there that are claiming to do it, doing it, like what, what distinguishes you guys? Absolutely. So there's, uh, there's kind of two worlds that work on sepsis. You have the clinical decision support world, which is typically like big data, machine learning, predictive analytics, taking lots of data and predicting things. You have another world, which is the diagnostics world the people that measure things from blood, and then they also use that for a similar purpose, which is to identify the patients that need help, right? We are an intersection of both of those worlds. So we bring in new diagnostic data that the big data people don't have access to because we've created a proprietary data set of biological diagnostic data that we've combined with clinical data. So that's really our unique spin on this. You know, if you compare us to diagnostic companies, we bring in the machine learning and all the rest of the data to the table. If you compare us to big data clinical decision support companies, we bring in new diagnostic data that they don't have. So we're the only ones that holistically do everything. And that makes our algorithms a lot more accurate. We can find a lot of the patients faster, uh, which leads to improved outcomes. Got it. Thanks for clarifying, Bobby. Are you guys making the machine and the sensor to, to get the diagnostic? No, so what we do is we have a proprietary data set. We have machines that generate that data from thousands of blood samples that we've collected in partnership with six hospitals. Um, so we, from that blood, we generate a proprietary data set, and then we train our machine learning algorithms based on that data. And because we're the only ones that have that data, and because we're the ones that created that data, we're the only ones that really understand that data, we can train algorithms that are much better than anything else out there. And then our product is actually a software. It's an EMR plugin that helps doctors prioritize patients. Got it. Thanks for clarifying that. It makes a lot of sense. You've been able to synthesize a lot of data uh, around diagnostics of the blood to, to make it your own metric. Yeah, exactly. and, and most of the important data we actually generated ourselves. We didn't secure that from somewhere else. So we actually have a wet lab where we have thousands, tens of thousands of blood samples and we generate data from that and then unify that with other data we get from the hospital. And so uh, as, as folks are listening and, and watching this uh, what, what, what would be your, your message to them, you know, and, and, and what, what's most exciting about what you're offering? Well, I mean, we became very passionate about sepsis in particular, um, which is obviously broader than just our company, but I would just encourage people to get to know more about sepsis, to increase awareness about sepsis. Um, it's actually the number one cause of death in U.S. hospitals. More people die from sepsis worldwide than all cancers combined together, something that a lot of people don't know. It's about $62 billion of healthcare costs per year in the U.S. It's a lot of money, it's a lot of deaths, and the, the, the huge travesty when it comes to sepsis is that most of these patients or people should never have died because we do have effective treatments that, you know, where this should never have been a deadly disease. It's just that these people are not receiving that treatment on time. And we combine that with things like antimicrobial resistance, which is a massive problem. Um, and you know, sepsis is intertwined to that because we're hitting these people with these huge antibiotics uh, just because we're worried about them you know, deteriorating. Um, this is just a huge issue that we need more awareness about. Over half of Americans don't know what sepsis is. It's about $20,000 per death in cancer funding, but only about $50 per sepsis death in federal funding. So I would just encourage a lot more awareness, and a lot more calls to action, a lot more calls for more funding and more initiatives around sepsis. That's awesome. Well, your, your passion about it is, 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 is palpable, and I uh, appreciate you sharing your, your vision. Where, where can the viewers and listeners of this find more information about you and, and what your company is doing? Uh, the easiest way is to go to our website, so it's uh, prenosis.com. Um, just check us out there. There's contact information, um, and we'd love to work with anyone that reaches out to us. Bobby, thanks again, and uh, uh, wishing you guys the best of luck here today at the, at the pitch. Thank you so much. Appreciate your time. Thank you.